Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all the hidden gems that are in Little China in Cyberpunk 2077. So let's crack straight into it. To find the first gem, you're going to need to mark up Kennedy North. If I zoom in on Kennedy North for you here, you can see that we need to just go around the corner of Kennedy North. So track it up, come here, and then just make this little run that you see I've made here. And let's go and find number one. So once you follow those directions, you're going to come across this. You're going to be able to see the two in the background as a reference. I'll do a little turn so you can see the kind of stuff you're looking for. So anyway, let's jump in now and find this first hidden gem. It's just at the end, not hard to find at all. No jumping or parkour needed for this one. It's just on the floor here. This is the first one. It's a nice little coat or something like that. Let's go and find the second. And for the next one, you're going to need to come to Metro Eisenhower Street, and I will guide you from there. Let me zoom out so you can see what it is on the map, and let me zoom back in for you. You can see it's just on the edge here. We need to go to this area right here that I'm on. So come to Metro Eisenhower Street, and I'll guide you from there. And here we are in game. This is the shop it brings us to, and what we need to do is we need to go to the right of the shop behind it. Not the first turn in, the second turn in, down this little street down here and then take a left down here once you're down here we got to drive a little bit further to find the container we are going to open which is this little container here you can see it's got a light on it so it's this one that has the light on it and you do need force level five to open it so if you're lower than that you're not going to be able to get to this hidden gem but let's open it up and see what's inside you can see inside this hidden cache it's got a lot of cool things some rare items and some uncommon items in here. Let's move on to the next one. So we're on to the third here. And where you need to go is to the Metro Farrier Street. So come to this area. I can't seem to get it to pop up. There we go. Track this area. Come to this shop. And I will run you from here. And just for reference, this is the shop that you're looking for. Or this is the area you're looking for. And we want to run down this way. So let's get to it. Once you get to this part here, you want to turn in and then go down these stairs. There's two flights of stairs. And once you go down the second flight of stairs, just look to your right. And you're going to find some goodies, including a legendary, which is awesome. Let's move on to the next one. For number four on the list, you need to come to Clarendon Street. Let me zoom out so you can see where that is. It's in the bottom left of Little China. So I'll zoom in again so you can see it. So once you're here, I will run you to the next hidden gem. So this is what you're looking for. It shouldn't be hard to find if you follow the tag at all. And where we need to go is all the way back into that street back there. So let's do that now. Once you get to this area, you need to take a right. You'll look for some cages or some fences, should I say here. And there are a couple of drones that you do have to kill in this area beforehand. I've already done that. You can see it's dead on the floor there already. And when you come here, you're going to get yourself an epic piece as well as another few pieces. There's an uncommon on there. So it's actually a decent little hidden gem. That's number four. Let's move on to number five. For this next one, you need to find this med point that I am on right now. So I'm going to zoom out and zoom back in so you can hopefully pinpoint this med point yourself. And yeah, this is the one we need to come to here. So once you found and come to this med point, I will run you from here. So this is the med point we were just looking at then on the map. And once you've got here, you want to go to the left of the med point all the way around the back. So take a right at the end and then take another right. And you can see this is the area we need to come to. There are some drones here which can be a pain in the butt. You don't really have to shoot them, but you can if you want to. But personally, I'm just going to run straight past them. You just run here, hit this to open it and you run in. Once you're in, you're fine. The drones can't see you, but you can shoot them if you want to. Once you're in here, you can loot this whole area, but the main part that is the actual hidden gem is the body itself that's inside here. Let's move on to the next one. We have three to go. For number six today, you're going to need to tag up this road right here. Now, you can't tag the whole road, only certain parts of it. It's just awkward. The tagging on this game is just awkward. There's no two ways about it now. So yeah, you've got to find the right place to tag and tag up this road. I'll zoom out again. It's bottom right side. Zoom back in and I'm going to run you from here. So the reason the tag worked there is because it wasn't actually on the road. It doesn't let you actually tag roads, which is weird. But once you get here, you should be underneath this thing with some stairs to our left here. We're going to run up these stairs now and to the next hidden gem. 
When you get to the top of the stairs, you need to take a right and look for Dime and Doze. And just inside the Dime and Doze store is our next hidden gem on the floor here. That's number six. Let's move on to number seven, which will actually be the final one because one of them is just impossible to find, which I'll show you at the end. Now, the final hidden gem of this area can be found out on this thing out here. I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to try and name it. I don't know. Is it a piece of land? Is it a boat? I don't know. But yeah, it's out on this thing here, so it should be really easy for you to find. Just tag the end of the road here or something, jump into the water. Easy work. But getting up to it is a bit trickier, so let's get into that now. So I've just gone to this thing here now, and I've killed this first drone. I'm calling it thing because I have absolutely no idea what it is. Now, I need to run around here. And I'm going to come up to this gate here. You can see someone's dead. And there is actually another drone which is going around in a circle. Easily avoidable. These they just don't get hit by the beam, basically. But what we need to do is we need to go into this bin and jump up onto this roof where this antenna is. So if you're seeing this antenna, you're in the right place. Next up, we need to keep jumping across here. Run all the way across here and jump onto this ladder. And once we're up the ladder, we need to jump onto this blue thing over here. We can actually fall here, take a bit of damage, so we'll try and have a good jump. Jump back over this way and then over this pipe. Move forward onto this blue platform and then go back and jump again. Oh, no, I missed it. Rip. Run onto this blue platform and then this is quite a big jump again. So you need to make sure you get a good jump. Run, jump, and there we go. We've made it. And then once you're here, you want to go up this final ladder. At the top of this ladder, I believe you're going to find the hidden gem. Where are you? Around this corner. There we go. And this is the final hidden gem of this video. And obviously, I did say I had one more, which I'll show you now that I could not find. So basically, if you can find this, I'll be very impressed. And I would appreciate it if you could as well. Let me know where it is. So it's this one right here. For references by the Metro Zocalo, so maybe you can try and find this one yourself. And I'm going to show you the picture now for the hidden gem. It's under a tunnel, apparently, by a crashed car. Personally, I can't find it. I'm sure it's there somewhere, but sometimes these things happen in video games. And for me right now, I just cannot find this. And I've spent about an hour looking for it. So who knows? Maybe I'm just being dumb, or maybe it's located somewhere else. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching as always and take it easy.